This is the third video about working with Mixamo, Blender and the Mixamo Control Rig add-on for Blender. If you haven't watched the previous videos, please do, because I'll assume that you understand the workflows, problems and so on that I already explained in the previous parts of the series. In the next section, I'm going to be showing you how to work with uh, some of the existing characters in Mixamo. As I mentioned in the previous video, some characters that you can download from Mixamo. So if you go to Mixamo and enter characters, you have all of these characters and some of them you can just download and use with the Mixamo add-on in Blender, but others fail. Uh, for example, this export character, I just downloaded it as FBX and imported it in Blender. And now if I go to Mixamo and try to create a control rig, it is going to fail. And as you can see, the bones of this character are really weirdly oriented. So something that you can do to improve this is if I import again and find my export and use automatic bone orientation in the FBX import settings, I'm going to get better oriented bones. And now if I create a control rig, it will generate fine. It will look fine. But if I try to actually move these, um, controls, you'll see that the legs are inverted and the hands are kind of not okay either. So in the previous video, I said, I don't want to go through all of the Mixamo characters and test them to see which one work and which don't, but actually I did. And we also created a little script that fixes these characters. The script is part of our retarget helper add-on. This is a new add-on developed by Blender Boy, the same person who created game rig tools. And this add-on will contain little scripts that may help you in your retargeting work. And it also contains a script to fix uh, Mixamo characters. So get it here. You can get it for free or you can leave us a big tip. And thank you very much if you do. So once you install the retarget helper add-on, it will appear here in the end panel. And it has a couple of features. In the future, I hope this list will grow. So there are two approaches to fix these characters that don't work with Mixamo. I'm going to undo here. Okay, so one approach is very simple. I, I'm just going to remove the armature from this character and then rig it again with Mixamo. As you should understand by now, if you rig your own character in Mixamo from scratch, then you'll get the exact skeleton that the Mixamo add-on can work with. So to do that, I want to unpair all meshes from the armature. So I'll select all meshes. And if I just press Alt-P and clear parent, this will happen to a mesh. So that's not nice. And there is a way to fix this manually. You have to go uh, Alt-P and then clear and keep transformation. But in Retarget Helper, we have this clean unbind mesh feature. And if I just use it, that will unbind the armature. And it does other things in the background. It cleans the vertex groups. It removes the armature modifier. A lot of stuff that you have to do manually. So now I can simply delete this armature. I'm going to select and export the meshes. Go to Mixamo, upload my unbinded export, place the markers, and there we go. Now I have to re-download this character with skin, import it back into Blender, and now with Mixamo, I can create a control rig and that will work perfectly. Okay, from now on, I can use this character as any other custom character. And that certainly works, but it is a little bit unfortunate because these existing characters have nice existing weights. So I would like to reuse these and we can do that with our retarget helper. So I'm going to start a new scene and I'm going to import the export again. And this time, very importantly, I have to check automatic bone orientation. So again, even though the bones look kind of okay here, if I try to create a control rig, it will look like it worked, but then the limbs will be behaving incorrectly. So I'm going to undo. And now I'm going to select the armature, go to retarget helper, click Mixamo cleanup. Press OK. 
And now I'll go back to Miximo, create a control rig, and now the rig will be generated correctly. And I'm still using the original weights that I got from Miximo. So now if I want to get more animations for this character, I have to import it again as a custom character. But this time I'll also import bones. So I'm going to select all meshes and the armature, export, FBX. On the armature, I want to remove add leaf bones and check only the form bones and export. Now in Miximo, I'll upload a new character, the FBX that I just exported. And the FBX file included the rig, so I don't need to do anything, I'll just click next. And I can start applying animations to this export. And if I download any of these animations, they will work perfectly with this character that I have here with control rig. So as a reminder, there are some characters that simply work. I'm going to reset the FBX import settings to default. And here in this folder, I have characters that simply work without you needing to do any edits. So I'm going to import any of these characters. As you can see, the bones look okay with the default import settings. So I can simply select the skeleton, go to Miximo, create control rig, and everything will be fine. However, other characters that you get from Miximo may not work right out of the box. Usually you can spot them right away because uh, they will have these weirdly oriented bones. So again, what you can do in these cases is import this character again, but this time use automatic bone orientation. Then select the, the skeleton, go to retarget helper, do a Miximo cleanup, then go to Miximo and create a control rig. You can zero out the rig and now it is going to work perfectly. And from there you can re-export this character, import it back into Miximo and start applying more animations to it. So that's it. I hope this was clear. I hope it will be useful. I tested all Miximo characters with this method and 99% of them did work. There were a couple that were simply too weird and uh, we couldn't fix them, but most of them will work. As always, thank you to my supporters on Gumroad and Patreon. If you like what you see on CG Dive, please consider supporting me so that I can keep creating for you. Please click like, subscribe, and tune in next time.